guys and welcome to week 35 of building my custom furniture we got so much done this week on the update it's absolutely insane you guys are in for one heck of a treat so let's get into it without further ado this order just came in from lego.com it's 250 dollars worth of parts now i ordered a bunch of these because i realized if you buy these it's cheaper and it takes up more square footage than one by six bricks do at the same cost because this is like 25 cents and this is like 38 cents so a one by 16 takes up way more space than three of these combined so it's saving money so i bought one of these one by uh 16 bricks from lego there's one package of them here's another package of them uh and here's one more we got all of these right here look at all of them this is insane and then we got a bunch of um, one by six bricks because I figured I still need them, which is great. And then great. And then we got some more one by fours because I was running low on these. And a few more one by threes. And we have one by twos and one by threes already. So I just ordered a small amount of them because I don't know how many more we're going to need out while I waste money. But yeah, some crazy amount of parts here for two or fifty dollars. I also did get some tiles, but I already built them on the furniture. So what I did was laid out a bunch of tile before I even showed you guys what I got. And look at how great this looks. This is absolutely insane. And it really is filling out now. I think maybe another 200 tiles and that should finish this area for the back hanger, which is absolutely insane. And the fact that we can fit this ship right here, this massive thing inside this hanger is amazing. And I cannot wait to put that in there for the foul mock and show that to you guys. It's gonna be absolutely insane. And then also, of course, we have the two shafts right here for the elevators that will be going in to the bottom level eventually. But, um, yeah, I just want to show off these two little elevator shafts and let you guys know that these, yes, are going to be elevator shafts. Just like when the foul first were falling, when Ahsoka and Rex were um, finding them. And they're going to be able to fall and they're going to be on Mac. Maybe, maybe on Mac. I'm, I'm going to hope and try to make them on Mac, but that's going to be really hard. And it's going to be so cool. So... Stay tuned for that, guys. This week, we're going to be making one of these things on the other side of the venture since we do have to make one of those for that. So let's get into it without further ado. All right, we have just built another one of these panels, and it looks very good. This is the original one, and then this is the other one that's going to go on the other side of the venture. And I think I'm going to build a bit more. Um, I'm more really excited for this, and I am... Super hyped to get the other panel that's going to go on the other side ready for this because I mean we still have to do the correct like angles on that side because last week we worked on angling this correctly and angling this one correctly so that it matches with this panel but uh, we still have to do that on the other side but I'm really excited and let's get into it starting now. All right. A little progress update right here. We built another one of these, the same length as the one that's right here for the other side. And I'm super excited to connect this to a big major part and have everything look so good on both sides. Then we have all four panels on. It's gonna look amazing. I cannot wait to show you guys. Guys, we have some good news and we have some bad news. Good news is, look, we made another completed panel to go on the venture on this side of the venture. The bad news is, well, um, we have some problems. So the bad news is everything's going nuts. So basically we have these things lined up the way they're supposed to be inside the verger. Um, but I do feel it's a bit high of an angle, which is something we're going to worry about in a little bit. But the main problem right now is that this thing is not lining up the way it's supposed to. It's supposed to be able to scoot this in a little bit more that way, right? Because this is a sliding thing that goes back and forth. It goes on these um, rails that slide back and forth and then it kind of just connects in and slides in. But it's not able to slide in other way. Now I don't know why this is and I don't know what is happening to this exactly. Because last week we had this all sorted out but now we don't. And I'm kind of freaking out. So I'm a little bit nervous about that and that's a big problem. Because if it's not lining up properly then everything is going wrong which is just chaotic. Um, but yeah that's a major problem right now. Another problem is... For the other panel we just made, I didn't put in any of these in yet, so we don't have any of these support frames, so we can't connect it to the other side yet. So, while we did build a lot, there is still a lot more to do 
with these panels to make them work efficiently and effectively. On top of that, I also feel that this panel is a bit too high up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower this by like a, what's called a brick height, one brick height, I'm gonna lower it. I'm gonna lower this a little bit too and see if that makes it look a little bit better. Um, because I am a bit concerned about that, especially since we're gonna be starting the bottom panels next week. Um, I am a bit concerned about the heights and how things look a little bit because it does look a little bit disformed. It's not terribly off, but I do want to make this as accurate as possible. So that is what I'm going to do right now. And then I'll worry about the problem of them connecting because the first problem, after all, is to make this look good. And then we can worry about the other problem, which is the smaller problem of making these two line up. So that's what I'm going to do first right now. So I did move the angle down by about a brick, which is the most I can really afford to do it because underneath here, we have a Technic system going and this is going to be like the control hub for all of the Technic features on the ship. So the doors that will be sliding over here eventually is going to be controlled by there. The iMac doors for the venture that are going to open up along here are going to be controlled by that, which is going to be very complicated, especially because of everything that's going on, especially with these angles that is driving me nuts. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to get that done. I don't know when that will be done or even, even if I can complete that because making iMac doors on this vessel seems almost impossible at this point. But I really, but I would love to try and get that done for the Veritors to try to have iMac doors in the front that can just open and close at the flick of a switch. And that'd be amazing. But I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that with how everything is going on this ship. It's going to take a lot of work. But right now, I'm just focusing on trying to get the angles right here. I'm not even worried about that stuff right now because of how much pain these angles are on the Veritor. You see, ship mocks are 10 times harder than regular terrain mocks, in my opinion, because of just of all the angles you have to capture and deal with on models. And I can't believe how some people are able to do it, but angles on large scale mocks like this is like some of the hardest things to do, especially as a freeform build and not something I built in LDD or um, a Mecha Bricks or something. This is insanely hard to do. So I am gonna be working on this quite a bit more but for now, I think this angle is a lot better than what it was. Yeah, now I'm going to try and reconnect the plate that goes right here and maybe try to connect the plate that I made this week for over there as well, since I did do that. And then we can take a look at how all of these plates that I've made so far look on the venture. All right, here's an aerial view of all of the progress we have made. We have this panel, but I have to hold on to it or it's going to fall off. Oh, and we have that panel that almost just fell off. And we have this panel and this panel that are secured on there. But I am going to give up on this problem for now because I think it's better for me to figure out what's going on with this angling first before I even try to fix this problem and get this plate attached. But for now, that's going to be it for this week on the venture updates. Next week, I hope to put this panel on correctly so that it sticks on there like this panel. But for now, that's it. Stay awesome. Stay subscribed. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. All right. Unfortunately, I was not able to attach this. I legit have to hold on to it. Otherwise, it's just going to slide right off. So um, this is the best view I can give you guys of what I've got done so far. So we got this, this section, and then the two front sections on there. I do have to connect this section on, which is something I'm going to work on next because I want to have that connected to the venture so that that's secure so I can figure out the problem that's going on over here because I don't know what's going on with that, but I don't really want to do anything with that problem until I fix everything else that's going on. All right, that's going to wrap up for week 35 of Buddy My Custom Venture. I'll see you all in the next one.